Hi, I'm Phil Shelby, drain cleaning and category specialist. Welcome to the startup procedure and live demonstration of the Superjet Plus. Prior to the operation of your Superjet Plus, ensure that you have a proper fixed garden hose connection attached to the mains water supply. Once you've established your water connection, take the other end and fit it to your brake tank. Ensure that you have enough petrol in the plastic fuel tank and then once you do, ensure that the breather valve is in the open position. Once you've established your water supply and connected your hose, turn the water on to fill the brake tank up. Once the, once the water supply has reached the top of the brake tank, be sure to leave the tap in the fully open position throughout the entire jetting operation. Now your brake tank is full, now you're ready to begin startup procedure. So on the Superjet Plus, we have the 21 horsepower Vanguard engine. You'll notice that the key start is here, but a very important point, if for some reason you get to your job and you see that you have a flat battery, you also have another method of starting your, your engine. So on your Vanguard engine, you also have a fuel tap with a little arrow pointing towards the back of the machine. When it's in this position, the fuel tap is off. Before you start your engine, you must engage that little tap so that it has proper fuel supply. This lever here controls the speed of your jetting engine and should, should always be nowhere higher than the middle position before you start your engine. When you're ready to begin your jetter operation, disconnect the quick coupler from the machine, pull out a length of hose and select the appropriate nozzle for your job. In this case, we're using the negotiator nozzle with one forward facing jet and six rear jets. Pull your snap lock coupling in, insert the nozzle tip, ensure that it's securely fastened and now you're ready to go. You'll notice on the length of the sewer hose we have these red individual markings which are set out at beta intervals. This is a safety precaution that allows the operator to know when he's getting to the end of the jetter hose so that it's time to turn off the pressure before he pulls the end of the jetter hose out. So for the purpose of this demonstration, what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert the end of the sewer hose with the nozzle attached. And as in any live demonstration, you want to be able to put at least up to the second marker of the hose into the drain before you start the engine and apply the high pressure. After finishing your jetter operation, it's important to remove the excess water from the brake tank and to do that, simply loosen off the inlet filter, cap and drain the water out like so.